hello guys here is i have a hp laptop as model is hp pavilion x360 and this laptop is probably the screen crack and touch also doesn't work and you can see here is a broken glass now i'm going to show you how to replace the screen keep watching and stay with me so with the open tools we just push up there is a couple of lock we have to remove it like that just push up it's going to come out easily And is uh, we, when you remove this glass on top side with the finger, just push up. And side also same thing, just push up. Here yeah, more separate the screen. And now we're gonna remove this all connection. With the nail just pull up and if you have plastic tools you can do that there is another connection you have to remove it and we're gonna remove this screen connection there is plastic tape we have to remove it first We just slide it down with the finger and there is some sticky glue you have to remove first and there is another connection you have to remove it and with the two finger just slide it down it's come out easily and now you're gonna remove this ribbon from the connection And now we're gonna remove this line. We separate the screen already. And here is the new screen. This comes with the connection and panel. I install with that, but that doesn't work. So I'm gonna remove this panel from all the screen and put it back on new screen. So first we're gonna remove from new screen. We're gonna remove this panel from new screen because uh, with this one touch doesn't work. So we're gonna apply some heat on top of that because it's under that glue on it. I don't heat them closely. Your LCD will be damaged. So just from little bit far by some heat and with this open tool we just lift it up slowly it has come out there is some tape you have to remove it and with the finger we just lift it up it's come out from the connection and now we're gonna remove the panel from all the screen Here is the old screen. Same thing, yeah. We're gonna apply some heat. And with this open tools, it's already lifting up. This is not that hard glue. And now we're gonna install this one on the new screen and here is the new screen 
first we're gonna connect this to two connection before install we're gonna connect the two ribbon just push it down inside make sure it goes all the way in if it's, if it's not all the way in might be it's not gonna be working properly touch the screen or lcd so make sure it goes all the way in and when it goes all the way in we're gonna install on center and we already did it and we're gonna see on top side is make sure it's on center after that we just lock it there is two lock we just press it down and now we're gonna connect it this two connection two side and just connect it and press it down the lock and there is another connection make sure it goes all the way in and it goes all the way in just press it down the lock if it not goes all the way in with the pivot we just push in and press down the lock now we're gonna connect the screen connection with the finger just slide in just slide in it's gonna be connect easily We are done here all connection and now we're gonna install the screen before finally install we're gonna check the screen make sure it's working touch and lcd properly so let me turn on the laptop it's turning on it's on now so if up yes it's touch is working now So the here is the thing we can use the panel or whatever is comes with the screen new screen we have to change the panel from old screen is better so we don't have to work double I try already but this doesn't work now I change and it's work now we're gonna install this screen final installation with the glue first we're gonna clean up the previous glue on side we are done the previous glue and here is the new sticker tape remove this plastic on top side and uh, now we're gonna install the screen and here is two lock one is here one is this side this two lock goes to inside the frame first we're gonna put it this two lock inside the frame and slowly we're gonna push in we don't want to push in all the way first we're gonna check is downside is close enough if it's downside close enough we're gonna press it on top side If it's not it goes easily open and check make sure it's on center if it is on center is this goes inside easily and you press so we are almost done install the screen all side is closed nicely I'm gonna check the screen again yes it's working and laptop is fixed now let me zoom in yes it's working properly and here is the laptop on keyboard side and here is the screen we change that's all right now let me know how you guys like it if you have any question let me know thank you for watching see you next time